Thanks to the introduction of the next generation of consoles with the PS4 and Xbox One, gamers are in for a treat during 2015, when a massive slate of quality AAA games launch. Here's 10 such games we really want to play right now! During Nintendo's E3 2011 press conference when the Wii U was first revealed, Nintendo showcased a tech demo of a Zelda mock-up to showcase the console's graphical capabilities. Three years later and the game was finally revealed as a Zelda title that introduces an open-world environment. Apart from an HD remake, this will be the first Zelda game to be developed with HD graphics. Directed by Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro, with The Walking Dead's Norman Reedus as the protagonist in a Silent Hill game. Yes, please. Let's face it, Halo 4 was probably the worst in the series. After Halo 2 and Halo 3, the expectations were sky-high, but it ultimately fell short on an aging Xbox 360. Halo 5 Guardians, however, appears to be a breath of fresh air for the franchise on the Xbox One that begins the Reclaimer trilogy. Naughty Dog has solidified their place among the most talented game developers on the planet for well over a decade. With Crash Bandicoot, Uncharted, Jack and Daxter, and of course The Last of Us, the Sony-owned studio has delivered hit after hit. Uncharted 2 is arguably the finest game of last generation that pushed the PS3 to its limits. Naturally, we can't wait to see what they do to harness the PS4's power in Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Ubisoft showed off a unique shooter that has maintained its hype since its reveal at E3 2013, despite showing off only two developer demos with no hands-on time for the public. Players are put into a massive multiplayer online environment where a group is formed to save what remains after a disease takes over America. High-tech gadgets, beautiful graphics, and appealing team-based gameplay mechanics will surely make The Division a breakout IP. Fans have been drooling at the prospect of Battlefield and Mirror's Edge developer DICE creating a Star Wars game. Battlefront 3 will utilize the impressive Frostbite 3 engine and it will be DICE's interpretation of what Battlefront should be. We got an exciting, albeit short, glimpse of exactly that during E3. 2015 can't come soon enough. Demon Souls is highly regarded by the gaming community. Some say it's even the best PS3 game ever made. Spiritual successor Dark Souls and its sequel provided enough satisfaction until the reveal of Bloodborne. From Software, which is going back to PlayStation exclusivity with the game, has shown off some impressive gameplay that introduces a new storyline and ultimately a new IP. You only have to watch the gameplay footage to see why Mortal Kombat 10 is so highly anticipated. Absolutely brutal X-ray and finishing moves a slew of new and returning characters, and an awesome theme song. Mortal Kombat 10 brings the famed franchise onto a new generation of consoles. There's only one thing left to say. April 14th, 2015. Get over here! CD Projekt Red has become a fan favorite due to its Witcher IP and its stance toward paid DLC. The Witcher 3 looks like one of the most dangerous, dramatic, and lively fantasy worlds seen in a game, paired with the updated combat and 100 hours of gameplay, which is certainly a fitting send-off for the white-haired monster slayer Geralt. Rocksteady became an instant hit back in 2009 with Batman Arkham Asylum, satisfying and swift combat, an arsenal of Batman's gadgets, and a living city in the equally impressive sequel. It's been nearly three years now since they've made another installment, but that comes to an end in 2015 with Batman Arkham Knight. Scarecrow returns to Gotham City to join Batman's enemies in an effort to finally kill the Dark Knight. Everyone's favorite masked hero has a playable Batmobile this time around, though which should be pretty fun, right?